اعزائي مره اخرى ومعنا الدكتور محمد انور في طبيب على الهواء This corneal transplant is it a complicated surgery is a day case or people have patient has to stay overnight in the hospital Dr. Well usually the patients stay overnight okay. but they are doing at day cases as well oh, really? uh, we like to keep it for a couple of nights just to see how the eye is how there's no leak all the stitches are right so when the patients come from long distances yes so such a major surgery i think it's it's good to keep the patient for a couple of days is it a complicated surgery it's a, a procedure very, yeah it's a specialized procedure done through the microscope ah. yeah the microscopy yeah طول عمر بيقول ان يعني هم بيحبوا يخلوا المريض اللي هيعمل عمليه زرعه او نقل قرنيه يقعد ليله او ليلتين عشان يطمنوا عليه وبعدين يعني في ناحيه الحياه كمان تقنيه هو اثرها ودي مهمه برضو ان المرضى بيجوا اماكن بعيده من المملكه او من خارج المملكه فهيكون حتى الرجوع في نفس اليوم كحاله يوميه صعب وعشان يطمنوا ان الغرز وكل حاجه ماشيه كويس وهي عمليه طبعا لها تقنيه عاليه يعني جراحه ميكروسكوبيه تعتبر من الجراحات الدقيقه يعني I can see, a, I haven't been nosing around, but I can see an, an eye drops in front of you. What is that for? Yes, look, can I just mention one or two yes, other sure. things about the graft? Sure. Is the most important thing, obviously, is the surgery, the quality of the surgery and the cornea. Yes. After that, the next best thing, or the next most important thing, is the follow-up. Which we over overlook or neglect. People have the misconception that if you have an operation like a cataract, you can forget about it. No. Once and for all. This is a mazra. A mazra means you have to look after that. You have to water it. You have to put minerals. You have to, and it will be time before you will get the fruits. Exactly. So once you have the transplant. You have to invest. You have to invest and you have to look after it. That's true. So you have to attend regular follow-ups and the vision comes back gradually within the two or three months. Okay. Usually patients need some glasses even after the transplant. Yes. Okay. So this, these are the most important things which I wanted to say. That's good. And if the stitches become loose, they have stitches. Yes. And they have to be replaced or removed. So the best thing is to attend follow-up by the doctor who's done the surgery. Exactly. If you go to other places, general physicians, they're not that familiar with the uh, procedure and they may not get a good follow up but sometimes this is unavoidable right so that's the only thing i wanted to say that's very important طبعا الحياة اضاف الطفل في غايه الاهميه بيقول ان في نقطتين مهمين جدا ان العمليه تجرى في مركز معترف به ومقنن وبدكتور عنده خبره ومراس في هذا الموضوع والاهم من ذاك وذلك ايضا ان المريض يتابع بعد العمليه مش هي مش عملية مية بيضة أو كتركت العملية المريض بيعملها لابد من المتابعة والحقيقة أضاف تشبيه في منتهى الجمال يعني لابد أن الواحد يستثمر في هذه النعمة الجليلة اللي الله سبحانه وتعالى أنعم على النبيها إن هي زي المزرعة لازم يرويها ويحرثها عشان ياخد السمار بعد فترة يعني بعد شهرين أو ثلاثة يبتدي البصر يعود تدريجيا وقد يحتاج أن يستعمل نظارة في وقت من الأوقات ولو حصل أي غرز ابتدت إنها تفكك شوية أو توسع يستحسن ان هو يراجع مع الطبيب او الاستشاري اللي هو عمل له نفس العمليه عشان يكون هو عارف عمل ايه ويصحح اذا كان هناك يعني مدعاه لهذا التصحيح. Right, going back to the drops now. Okay, drops will be part of the corneal protection. Hmm. We have this corneum from the Almighty. Exactly. And if we take care of it, it's lifelong. It will take care of us. <laughs> Simple as that. You don't have to do anything to it yeah. if you protect it. Yes. Now the protection means that when you are driving, you should wear a seat belt. Because not only it will injure your face and other also you get pieces of glass going in the eye. Shrimples, yeah. yeah. And this happens very often. Very we see it, see it time again. Road yes. traffic accidents, That's injuries true. to the eyes, very common. The second common cause is the industrial accidents. People working in it, they don't wear protective goggles. Shields, yeah, goggles, Shields. Yeah. And we have regular admissions from different factories, different things. But the third most common place. The most, I believe. Yeah, it is, is, is really surprising, is the home. Kitchen. Children. They are, they are not educated about the things lying around in the house. They throw objects at each other, knives, all the things and they come with perforated, even lost eyes. And the government has to play a part here 
because in Ramadan we regularly see accidents after fireworks. Children play with fireworks, they regularly come with serious eye injuries. Mm -hmm. okay. Now the drops, as you mentioned, <laughs> I just is, become, is curious this, about this it. one, this one. I wanted yeah. to bring this to the notice, your notice, yes. is that people who are involved in the welding, uh -huh. they think this is their friend. <laughs> this is a local anesthetic, very potent local anesthetic. If you put one in the eye, you feel nothing. Right. So if you get any injury, you're not going to feel any pain. Tell me, oh dear. So they get a foreign body, a flying particle from the lathe or whatever, and they put this and they keep on working. Every shop has this. And the pharmacies sell to, to the general public without any prescription. That's too dangerous. Very, very dangerous. And I have seen patients come to me using 16 or 17 bottles of this continuously. And of course, their corneas became opaque. They were in pain because it becomes a vicious circle. And they use them more and more. Hmm. So they required serious operations. Even then, we were not able to put the eyes right. So the use of, the abuse of drugs, one of this, the other one are cortisone drops. That's a classical example too. Yeah. If you have a virus infection such as herpes, this, the, the cortisone drops will aggravate it. Right. So we should not use any drops in the eyes without a doctor's prescription. Right. And pharmacies should not sell without a doc doctor's prescription, the drops. Right. I talked to Abdul Nawal about the points that are in front of him or the points, and it's a point that is a very important point and a very important point, the drugs of the drugs. الناس اللي هي بتشتغل في اللحامين او في الحدادة او النجارة ملبس النظارة الواقية وبتيجي اصابة في عينيه او المفرقعات في الالعاب النارية في المناسبات والاعياد رمضان وخلافه والاطفال بالذات او يعني بيقول لي الشيء المدهش والغريب الاصابات معظمها في داخل المنزل الادولاد بيحذفوا بعضهم بكوره بحصى بيلعبوا باشياء حاده في المطبخ نتيجه الوالد الام بتطبخ وبيتناطر زيت محروق او خلافه في عين الطفل او اخطر من ذاك او ذاك الحقيقه اللي معلومه في غايه الخطوره ان القطر قدامه دي قطره مخدره يعني كانها بنج لو الواحد حطها في عينه مش هيحس باي شيء وبيقول ان في بعض مرضى بيستعملوا حوالي 16 او 17 ازازه من دول على فترات طويله بيروح يشتروا صيدليه من غير وصف الطبيب وبيحطها في عينه وبيشتغل بلحم حتى لما بيجي يصاب ما بيحسش ان في اصابه ويسيب الاصابه تتفاقم الاصابه يوصل عند الدكتور بيكون الموضوع او الاوان عدى وفات زي ما بنقوله وما بيكونش في حد يعني علاج او اعاده لهذا البصر في الحقيقه ممارسات في منتهى الخطوره وممارسات خاطئة يعني هو قال كلمة جميلة جدا الله سبحانه وتعالى يعني أبدع في خلقه ودانا هذه الدرة الغالية العين ودانا القرنية لنحافظ عليها وهو قال تشبيه جميل دكتور محمد أمر لو حافظنا على القرنية وخلينا بلنا وإحنا بنركب السيارة ونحط حزام الأمان لا قدر الله حصل حادث أو تصادم الزجاج ما يتناثرش ويتكسر ويتبعثر ويخش في العين ويأذي القرنية فكلها عوامل مترتبة على بعضها للمحافظة على سلامة أهم جزء اللي هو الجزء بوابة بوابة العين يعني اللي هي القرنية Right sir, I think we come to a nice conclusion and I'm, I'm glad you mentioned these two very clear and loud I would say warning message because sometimes we have to, we have a duty and commitment as doctors to educate people and to warn them about sure. malpractice because prevention is the best cure, I believe. Right. There's one other uh, thing which I just want to mention yes. quickly because it is to do with the yeah. cornea, is the laser. Right. And uh, that's very commonly used these days to correct myopia. I think we need to talk about that this in a laser. different episode. Different episode. Because that's a very important, important topic. topic. And I wouldn't be giving you right okay. or giving the topic right to talk about the laser. Okay. أنا الحقيقة بشكر بالنيابة عن المشاهدين وبالنيابة عن نفسي وعلى البرنامج الدكتور محمد أنور رئيس وحدة أمراض القرنية 
بمستشفى مغربي وبنوعد المشاهدين ان احنا بناخد من وقتهم حلقه مره اخرى عشان نناقش موضوع الليزر والتعامل مع مشاكل القرنيه اعزائي المشاهدين بشكر حسن استماعكم ووجودكم معنا في هذا البرنامج وبشكر الدكتور محمد انور واتمنى لكم دائما الصحه والسعاده وطابت ليلكم والسلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته Thank you very much. That's a beautiful problem. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.